Happened on 31st Avenue between Geary Boulevard and Golden Gate Park. KTV's Christian Captain has been following this story for us all day. And Christian, a neighbor is shedding new light on what may have happened, saying it appears to be a family tragedy. Yeah, a neighbor and police now confirming that uh, the adopted son of the couple who live here at the home here behind me uh, came to his parents' house, killed his mother and a dog before being shot dead himself by police. San Francisco police say at about a quarter to three in the morning, they were called to the 700 block of 31st Avenue in the Richmond district for an aggravated assault in progress. The first officer arrived to find an 84-year-old man in the doorway of the home. Neighbors say that man is Roland Child. As the first responding officer was speaking with Child, police say a 37-year-old suspect, who neighbors and police sources identify as Mark Child, the adopted son of the couple living here, advanced toward them with a knife, and the officer shot him. That suspect was rushed to an area hospital, but died from his injuries. Inside that home, officers discovered a 76-year-old woman, who neighbors and police sources identify as Barbara Child, dead, along with a family dog that was also dead. Investigators confirm they're looking into the connection between the suspect and the victims. We definitely know that there is a relationship there, um, and I can't say at this time what, exact, what exactly that relationship is. It's really a shame because it was a beautiful family. Beautiful family, beautiful neighbors. Barbara was like a sister to me. Effie Buntavas has lived next door to the Child family for three decades and says she received a call from Roland Child after the attack. He sounded like he was in left field. He did, he's, all he said is, I lost my Barbara. Buntavas says the 37-year-old suspect was an attorney in San Francisco. The kid lost it. He had a knife. He stabbed his mother. He killed the small dog. And then uh, the police came, and he wouldn't let the knife go, and he shot him. Buntava says Mark was deeply attached to one of the family's three dogs, not the one that was found dead inside the home. Animal Care and Control took custody of the other two surviving dogs. Buntava says Roland and Barbara were a nice couple, almost like family, and she can only speculate why Mark would kill his mother and one of the family dogs. I don't know what happened to Mark. I really don't. I don't, I can't realize it unless he was on some type of, Yeah. Well, I hate to use the word dope, but it's possible. And police sources confirming they have had multiple interactions with Mark Child over the years for drug-related incidents and fights with police. And that at one time there was a stay-away order from the parents and from the home here in the Richmond District. San Francisco police say the events leading up to and including the officer-involved shooting are all under investigation by police, the district attorney's office, internal affairs, and the Department of Police Accountability. We're live in San Francisco. Christian Kafton, KTVU. Fox 2 News. Christian, do we know anything more about the elder man, uh, Mr. Child? Was he injured at all in what happened? He was injured. We're hearing that he was injured, taken to a hospital uh, with what they're saying were life threat, uh, non life threatening injuries. Pardon me, non life threatening injuries. All right, Christian Captain reporting for us in San Francisco. Christian, thank you.